Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about historical events, past experiences, and how to use the simple past tense. First, we will look at some useful vocabulary. There are some time expressions that we often use when we talk about the past. And these are, take a look at your screen, this morning, last night, yesterday, two days ago, last week, two weeks ago, last month, last year, two years ago, in 1990, a long time ago, at three o'clock. So we use time expressions like these with the simple past tense to say when something happened before now. For example, take a look at these examples on your screen. Last night, I watched TV at home. Yesterday, I played football with my friends. I moved to my new house in 1999. When we use the simple past tense, we usually change regular verbs to the past tense by adding ed. Look at these verbs to see how they change for the past tense. Watch becomes watched. We add ed. Cook becomes cooked. Listen, listened. Relax, relaxed. Call, called. Let's see more examples. Invent, invented. Work, worked. Discover, discovered. Need, needed. Want, wanted. Now when we speak, we pronounce the ED sound like a soft D or a soft T. Listen to how I pronounce the following words. Watched, watched with a T sound. Played, played with a D sound. Work, worked with a T sound. When the last sound of a word is a D or a T sound, we pronounce the ED like id. Listen again. Invited, invited, so it sounds like id. Needed, needed. Wanted, wanted. All right, now let's practice some of these simple past sounds. Alberto, when did Christopher Columbus discover America? He discovered America in 1492. Very good. Sylvia, what did you do last night? I watched TV. Okay, Linda, what did you do? I rented a video and watched it. Which video did you rent? Uh, I rented Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I see. Sylvia, what did you do last Saturday? I played tennis with my friends. Okay, good. Linda, what did you do? I rent, uh, I shopped for new shoes. And Alberto? I worked on my English. Oh, good boy. Sylvia, when did you last take a vacation? Um, last year. Okay. Alberto, when did you start to study English? I started one year ago. Okay. And Linda, when did you see your grandfather? Mm, maybe a month ago. Okay, good answers, everyone. All right, now let's look and listen. Look and listen. We traveled to Spain last year. I worked in England two years ago. He finished university last year. He started his new job last month. She cooked dinner two hours ago. Read and repeat.
With most regular verbs, we usually just add ed to create the simple past. But you must be careful with the spelling of some verbs. When a verb ends with e, we just add a d. Okay? So for example, exercise in the past tense becomes exercised. So we just add the d. Invite in the past tense becomes invited. Again, we just add the d. So exercise, exercised, invite, invited. Now when a word ends in y, when it ends with a y, after another consonant, we change the y to i, e, d. Okay? So for example, study ends in a y after a consonant, after the d. So in the past tense, we write studied, change the y, the y becomes an i before the ed. Same with cry. Because the y comes after the r, a consonant, past tense, it becomes cried. y changes to i, and then we add ed. So study, studied, cry, cried. Okay, more irregular spellings. When a word ends with a Y, after a vowel, okay, we change, we don't change anything, we just add ED for the past tense. So play ends in a Y after A, which is a vowel. So in the past tense, we write play plus ED, played. Okay, same with stay. Again, the Y comes after a vowel, after the A. So in the past tense, it's stay, and we add ED, stayed. So play becomes played. Stay becomes stayed. All right, when a word ends with a consonant after a vowel, okay, we add or we double the last letter, then add ED. So shop ends in a consonant after a vowel. So for the past tense, we have to double the P and add ED. Stop ends in a consonant after the vowel. So in the past tense, we need to double the last consonant, which is P, and add ED. So shop becomes shopped, stop becomes stopped. All of these verbs are called regular verbs because we change them by adding ED or IED to the verb. Okay, some verbs are irregular and change completely when we use them in the simple past tense. Here are some common irregular verbs. Take a look at your screen. Go does not become goad. It changes completely in the past tense, and it becomes went. Come changes to came. Buy in the past is bought. Do becomes did. Find becomes found, eat, past tense is ate. Drink 
is drank. All right, let's also look at the verb to be in its simple past tense. So in the present tense, we have am, is, or are. But in the past tense, the verb to be becomes was or were. Read has the same spelling in the past tense, but the sound changes. So it becomes read. Write changes to wrote. Hear changes to heard. See is saw. Catch is caught. So of course, when we use simple past, we need to change the verb to the simple past form. Look at some examples. We watched TV on Tuesday night. They stayed in a hotel last summer. When we want to make a negative sentence, then we use the helping verb didn't or did not. But we don't change the main verb. The main verb just stays in its simple form. Look at these examples. We didn't watch TV on Tuesday night. She didn't hear the phone ring. So the main verb stays the same, and you just add the helping verb, didn't. OK, let's practice using some of these verbs to talk about the past. Sylvia, could you tell me what you did yesterday? Yesterday, I went to the cinema. Good. Now, Linda, can you tell me what you did last night? Last night, I read a book. Excellent. Alberto, what did you do two days ago? Two days ago, I wrote a letter to my friend. Sylvia, ask Alberto a question. OK. Alberto, what did you do last weekend? Um, I went shopping last weekend. What did you buy? Uh, I bought some new shoes. Good. Now, Alberto, please ask Sylvia a question. OK. Sylvia, did you study English last year? No, I didn't study English last year. I started my class this year. Good, Sylvia. Now, can you please ask Linda a question? Linda, what time did you get up this morning? I got up at 8 o'clock this morning. OK, that was very good, everyone. In English, there are three ways of asking questions. Look at the chart, please. Now, first type of question is a yes-no question. For example, did he ask a question? Yes, he did. Or, no, he didn't. Now let's look at the structure. We use did as our helping verb. We start with that. Then add the subject, he, plus your verb, ask, and your object, a question. So it becomes, did he ask a question? And remember, when we use the helping verb, did, the main verb stays unchanged in the simple form. All right, the second type of question is an information question about the action, about the verb. For example, what did he ask? He asked a question. Structure is what, question word, plus did, helping verb, plus T, your subject, and your verb, ask. So what did he ask? Third type of question is an information question about the subject, he, she, or it. For example, who asked a question? He asked a question. Structure is Question word, which is the subject, who, plus your verb, asked, plus object, a question. Who asked a question? OK, now take a look at this question. Did you watch TV on Tuesday night? Yes, I watched TV. Next example. Did you go to the cinema? 
Yes, I went to the cinema. When we want to ask yes, no questions, we use the helping verb did or didn't. But we don't change the main verb. In this case, the main verb is watch, so it stays in its simple form. When we answer the question with a positive verb, of course, we have to change the main verb to its past tense form. In this case, we changed go to went. But when the answer is negative, we change the helping verb from don't to didn't. And the main verb stays the same in its simple form. Let's take a look at the answers. Yes, I went to school yesterday. It's positive, so the main verb has to change to the simple past form. Or, no, I didn't go to school yesterday. It's negative, so we change the helping verb from don't to didn't. And the main verb stays in its simple form, go. So we use the helping verb do for questions and negative sentences. When we ask information questions with question words, we use the question word and the helping verb together. Let me show you. So you say, when did question word and your helping verb together. Or, where did, why did, who did, or how did. So you start with your question word and your helping verb. When did, where did, why did, who did, and how did. Okay, let's do some more practice asking questions using the simple past tense. Alberto, can you ask Sylvia a question, please? Yes. Sylvia, what did you eat for breakfast? I ate some cheese and some bread. Good. Now, Sylvia, ask Linda a question. Linda, where did you go yesterday? I went to the museum. That was very good. Now, Linda, ask Alberto a question, please. Okay. Did you walk to school yesterday? No, I didn't walk to school. I caught the bus. All right. Very good, everyone. Now it's time again to look and listen. Look and listen. Did the students go to Italy last year? Yes, they went to Italy last year. What did they do in Italy? They visited a lot of museums. Did you walk to school this morning? No, we didn't. We caught the bus to school this morning. Read and repeat. try some exercises. You fill in the blanks with the correct simple past verb form. Okay, Sylvia, you start. Mm -hmm. You go to the cinema yesterday. Simple past, Sylvia. Did you go to the cinema yesterday? Did you go to the cinema yesterday? Good. 
Okay, now Alberto. When mm -hmm, man first lands on the moon, man first mm -hmm, on the moon in 1969. When did man first land on the moon? Man first landed on the moon in 1969. Okay. When did man first land on the moon? Man first landed on the moon in 1969. All right. Uh, Linda, it's your turn. When mm -hmm, the United Kingdom join Europe, the United Kingdom Mm -hmm. Europe in 1973. Linda. When did the United Kingdom join Europe? The United Kingdom joined Europe in 1973. Very good. When did the United Kingdom join Europe? The United Kingdom joined Europe in 1973. All right, you're all doing so well. We have to do some more. Okay, she mm -hmm. to France two weeks ago. Sylvia. She went to France two weeks ago. Okay, she went to France two weeks ago. Remember, go is an irregular verb, so it changes completely in the past tense. Okay, now Linda, I, mm hmm English last year. I didn't speak English last year. Good. I didn't speak English last year. It's negative, so we need our helping verb, didn't. Okay, Alberto, it's your turn. Mm-hmm, your girlfriend yesterday alberto did you see your girlfriend yesterday did you see good did you see your girlfriend yesterday okay alberto try these two answers no i mm -hmm. her yesterday and i mm -hmm. her two days Ago. Past tense, Alberto. No, I didn't see her yesterday. Good. I saw her two days ago. Very good. No, I didn't see her yesterday. I saw her two days ago. So remember, see is an irregular verb. It changes to saw in the past tense when it's positive. Okay, good job, everyone. Now, here is a very short story. Read the story and answer with simple past tense sentences. Okay, take a look at your screen. Last week, Susan went to the library and she read a book about the history of Turkey. She learned that the Turkish Republic started in 1923 and that the first leader of the new Turkish Republic was a man called Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. He was born in Salonika in 1881 and died in 1938. His body was moved to the Anit Kabir in 1953. Susan thought the book was very interesting and she decided to visit Turkey for her holiday this year. Now, answer the questions about the story. Sylvia, where did Susan go last week? Susan went to the library last week. Very good. Linda, what did Susan read? She read a book about Turkish history. Yes, good. Now, Alberto, here's one for you. When did the Turkish Republic start? The Turkish Republic started in 1923. Yes, that's right. You do the next one too, Alberto. Who was the first leader of the new Turkish Republic? 
the first leader of the Turkish public was Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Good job. Okay, Linda, when was he born? He was born in 1881. Good. You do the next one, too. Where was he born? He was born in Salonika. Yes, that's right. Okay, Sylvia, when did he die? He died in 1938. Okay. Sylvia, also the last one. When was his body moved? His body was moved in 1953. Okay, that was very good. Now you know a little bit more about history. Sometimes when we talk about the past, we use a special verb, and it's called used to. We use this verb, used to, when we talk about things we did in the past, so habits or routines in the past that we don't do any longer. When we use this verb in positive sentences, we always use the simple past form, used to, and another verb in its simple form. So we don't change the main verb. Okay, let's take a look at some examples using used to to talk about the past. When I was a child, I used to play hide and seek. He used to be fat, but now he is thin. She used to live in England, but she lives in Istanbul now. I used to smoke, but I don't anymore. They used to work here, but they left last year. So for negative sentences, we use the helping verb didn't plus used to in its simple form plus another verb in its simple form. Okay. Here are some more examples. When I was a child, I didn't used to speak English. He didn't used to be fat, but now he is. She didn't used to like opera, but she does now. I didn't used to smoke, but I do now. They didn't used to work here, but now they do. Okay. When we use this verb in yes-no questions, we always use the helping verb did or didn't plus the subject plus used to in its simple form plus another verb in its simple form. For example, take a look. Did you used to ride a bike when you were a child? Did he used to be fat? Didn't she used to live in London? Did you used to smoke? Did they used to work here? With positive questions, did you, the speaker doesn't know the answer. The answer may be yes or it may be no. With negative questions, didn't you, the speaker thinks he knows the answer, but he's not sure, so that's why he's asking. Okay, take a look at this question. Didn't you used to live in London? This means the same as, I think you used to live in London, but I'm not sure. So I'm asking you so I can be sure. Okay, now with information questions, we use a question word and used to. Look at these examples. What did you used to do when you were a child? Where did you used to live? When did you used to go to bed 
when you were a child. Okay, let's practice with used to. Linda, can you ask Sylvia a question, please? Sylvia, did you used to ride a bike? Yes, I used to ride a bike when I was a child. Very good. Sylvia, can you ask Alberto a question? Okay. Alberto, didn't you used to smoke? Yes, I used to smoke, but I stopped last year. Excellent, Alberto. Now, can you ask Linda a question? Okay. Linda, did you used to play sports when you were young? Yes, I used to play tennis. Very good. Sylvia, tell Linda about when you were a child. I used to play hide and seek when I was a child. Very good. Linda, tell us something that you learned in history. Okay. Turkey used to be ruled by the Ottomans. Very good. Alberto, can you tell me something about when you were young? Okay. Um, I used to live in an apartment. Now I live in a house. Very good. Alberto, can you ask Sylvia a question using used to? Of course. Sylvia, did you used to play tag? Yes, I used to play tag when I was young. All right. Now, Sylvia, ask Linda a question using used to. Linda, where did you used to live? I used to live in New York. Very good. Linda, can you ask Alberto a question using used to? Alberto, didn't you used to have longer hair? Yes, I used to have longer hair. All right, very good job, everyone. Now, just like we used to do in previous lessons, we are now going to look and listen. Look and listen. When I was a child, I used to ride a bike. She used to play tennis. They didn't used to eat meat. There used to be a shop next to my house. Read and repeat. Review. Now we will do some exercises. Look at the sentences and fill in the blanks. Again, starting with Alberto. Last year, I mm -hmm, to Spain. Last year, I went to Spain. Very good. Last year, I went to Spain. Remember, go is an irregular verb. So it changes to went in the past tense. Okay, um, this one's for you also, Alberto. I, mm hmm there with my family every year. Alberto. I used to go there with my family every year. Good. I used to go there with my family every year. Okay, now Sylvia. Mm hmm You. Mm hmm In London. Sylvia. Did you used to live in London? Did you used to live in London? Okay. Linda. Where? Mm hmm You. Mm hmm To school. Where did you used to go to school? Where did you used to go to school? Very smart students. Okay, another one for you, Linda. Mm -hmm. He, mm -hmm. your neighbor, Linda. Didn't he used to be your neighbor? Very good. Didn't he used to be your neighbor. 
Okay, Alberto. How? Mm -hmm. People. Mm -hmm. Before we had cars. Alberto. Yes. How did people used to travel before we had cars? Good. How did people used to travel before we had cars? Okay, another one for you, Alberto. What? Mm -hmm. People. Mm -hmm. For we invented TV. What did people used to do before we invented TV? What did people used to do before we invented TV? Sylvia, people mm -hmm. that the world mm -hmm. flat. People used to think that the world was flat. People used to think that the world was flat. Okay, let's see. Now our ideas have changed. Linda, I, mm -hmm, but I quit last year. I used to smoke, but I quit last year. I used to smoke, but I quit last year. Okay. Um, Alberto, she, mm -hmm, a lot of chocolate, but now she, mm -hmm. Alberto, she used to eat a lot of chocolate, but now she doesn't. She used to eat a lot of chocolate, but now she doesn't. Continuing, since you're doing so well. We just can't seem to stop. Istanbul, Sylvia, mm -hmm. called Constantinople. Istanbul used to be called Constantinople. Istanbul used to be called Constantinople. Good job, everyone. Now I want you to ask some questions to each other using the simple past tense and used to with yes, no questions and question words. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, now Linda, please ask Sylvia a question. Okay. Sylvia, did you used to have a nickname when you were a child? Yes, I used to have a nickname when I was at school. Really? What was your nickname? My friends used to call me Silva. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay, Sylvia, can you ask Alberto a question? Okay. What did you used to like playing when you were young? Um, I used to like playing hide and seek when I was a child. Thank you. And Alberto, can you ask Linda a question? Okay. Linda, where did you used to do your homework? I used to do my homework in my bedroom. Okay. Linda, who do you want to ask a question? I want to ask a question to Sylvia. Fine. Okay. Sylvia, did you used to ride a bike when you were a child? Yes, I used to ride my bicycle every day. All right, Sylvia, would you like to ask anyone a question? Yes, I will ask Alberto a question. Okay. Alberto, what did you used to do on your holidays? Mm, I used to go swimming and play on the beach when I was on holiday. All right, good. Alberto, do you want to ask anyone a question? Yes. Can I ask you a question, teacher? Of course. What is your question? Um, where did you used to live before you came here? I used to live in the United States with my family. Oh, thanks. Okay, those are some very good questions. You, did all, you all did very well today. So now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. The Turkish Republic started in 1923. In 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered the American continent. The French Revolution finished in 1792. 
Karl Marx was born in 1818. Man landed on the moon in 1969. Genghis Khan became leader of the Mongols in 1206. Russia became a communist state in 1918. Suleiman the Magnificent died in 1566. Constantinople was conquered in 1453. Britain joined the European Union in 1973. Now check your answers. The Turkish Republic started in 1923. In 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered the American continent. The French Revolution finished in 1792. Karl Marx was born in 1818. Man landed on the moon in 1969. Genghis Khan became leader of the Mongols in 1206. Russia became a communist state in 1918. Suleiman the Magnificent died in 1566. Constantinople was conquered in 1453. Britain joined the European Union in 1973. Now read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. When Carl was a child, he used to live on a farm. Every morning, his mother and father used to get up very early to feed the animals. When they lived on the farm, Carl used to have a pet dog. His name was Shep. He used to take him for walks every day, and after school, he used to play with his friends in the garden. In the summer, they used to visit his grandparents. They lived near the sea. They used to have a horse called Beauty. His grandfather used to let Carl ride him. They all used to drive to his grandparents' house in his father's red car. When they drove to his grandparents' house, the children used to play games in the car because it took a long time to drive to the sea. Now answer these questions. Where did Carl used to live? What did his parents used to do every morning? What did Carl used to do after school every day? Where did he used to go in the summer? Where did his grandparents used to live? What did his grandfather used to let him do? How did he used to travel to his grandparents' house? What did the children used to do in the car? What did they call his grandfather's horse? What was the name of his dog? Now, check your work. Where did Carl used to live? He used to live on a farm. What did his parents used to do every morning? Every morning, his parents used to get up early and feed the animals. What did he used to do after school every day? He used to play with his friends in the garden. Where did he used to go in the summer? He used to go to his grandparents' house every summer. Where did his grandparents used to live? They used to live near the sea. What did his grandfather used to let Carl do? He used to let him ride his horse. How did Carl used to travel to his grandparents' house? He used to drive to his grandparents' house in his father's car. What did the children used to do in the car? They used to play games in the car. What did they call their grandfather's horse? They called him Beauty. What was the name of Carl's dog? 
His name was Shep. Okay, good job today. See you next time. Practicing English. So, how did it go? Oh, it went great. I had so much fun. So tell me, what did you do there? Well, you got me on the ferry yesterday, and we arrived just like the man said, right around lunchtime. Did you meet anyone to talk to on the ferry? Yes, in fact. I met this girl who was going to visit her grandparents there. She told me a lot about the things I wanted to see. So what did you do first? Well, I took a horse cab from the ferry station and went right to see the sights. Walked around for a few hours, and then I took a great tour of the houses. So what did you do next? Well, I was really hungry. Sam and Jack told me about these famous fish on the Prince's Islands. What did you think? Well, I had one and it was delicious. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I like fish. So, after lunch, I went to see St. George. It's an Orthodox church. It was built in 1909 and is part of a hilltop monastic complex that has its origin in the 5th century. Yes, interesting, isn't it? What did you do after St. George? Well, by then, it was 6 o'clock. Unfortunately, it was too late to see anything else. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, but wait till I tell you what happened next. So what did you do? So, I walked down the street to get an ice cream. And guess who I bumped into? I don't know. Who? I ran right into the girl from the ferry. You're kidding. There are a lot of people on Big Island. And you met the same person on the same day and in two different areas? I know. I still can't believe it. So what did you do next? Well, we were pretty surprised to see each other. So she suggested that we could have some dinner together. Hmm. Did you have dinner together? Yes, we did. She knew this great seafood place. So we had dinner together last night. Her name is Tara. Wow. So you went to the big island to get away from the city, and you came back with a new friend? What did you talk about? Oh, we talked about a lot. Movies, books, music, family, school. That's great. Will you talk to her again? Well, I think so. She gave me her cell phone number and her email address. I already emailed her this morning. Did you buy anything on your trip? Yes. Since Tara bought dinner for me, I had a little extra money. What did you buy yesterday? Actually, I bought something for you. I thought it was so nice that you were so worried about me going to Big Island by myself. Well, you are my friend, so of course I worry about you. Here, I bought this for you. Ooh, a Nazar. I love these things. They are for good luck, you know. Yes, I know. Hmm, you found my favorite kind. Well, I remembered you said you'd like these. I love these. I'm glad you're happy. Alexi, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for taking me to the ferry station yesterday. Next time you go to Big Island, I want to come too. Well, I went and had a great time, but it'll be so much better with a friend. Mm -hmm.